The Boston Marathon ranks as one of the most prestigious road racing events in the world. Monday, April 15th, marks the 117th Boston Marathon. One local Marlboro resident finds himself in a familiar place and will be running the legendary race for the seventh time. Boston is, there's no comparison. It is the granddaddy of events. It's just such an exciting event that you turn down Boylston Street and the crowd is just carrying you forward and you cross that line and, and it's just, it's just, you can't describe it. Gary Catterin is a qualified runner, which means he can run really, really fast. I think the qualifying time for 50, uh, 50 and up is, um, I think it's 3.30. The first time I broke three hours was in Boston. I was actually a little teary because I didn't think it was possible. But he doesn't just run fast, he runs far. I run every day. This year I'm targeting about 2.50 a month. So if you do the math and you do the pace, and it, it ends up being about on average about <laughs> shaking your head. It's, it's, it's just, it becomes a lifestyle. This is Gary's 19th marathon in competition. With a full-time job that requires a lot of travel and a supportive wife and two daughters, he has to make running a part of his schedule any way he can. My training schedule is random. It's whenever I can find time. Today it happened to be middle of the day. Tomorrow morning I'll be in on a trip and I'll get up early and go from the hotel and Saturday I'm going out to run with some buddies in Weston. Many people wonder why on earth would you run a marathon let alone 19? First thing is you can eat anything you want which isn't a bad thing. No, um, but seriously it's it, it, it's it is time for yourself which is great. Uh, it's also if you're out with friends it's social time you just have to be moving. Uh, it's, it's really good for your head, but the health benefits, I'm turning 50 in six days, and I feel great. For WMCT, I'm Alexandra Grace.